In 1990, a cute little blonde girl that eventually became a redhead came into this world. She had one person that looked up to her more than anyone. But that all changed when she turned 10 because, let's face it, Michelle has at least a foot or more on me since about that age. Now I look up to her pretty much ever since that day. So while she might have some height on me, I definitely have a few years on her, and while I can't claim that I'm wiser, I have managed to have been through all of her best and worst moments. As Jacqueline was saying, we met playing basketball together. I was the shorty, she was the tall one. But more than just playing basketball, we connected outside of basketball. Uh, we had so many fun nights together, so many fun memories. Troy and I have been together for almost 20 years now. We met back at St. Pat's, where she works. We didn't become friends right away because Troy was weird back then. He still is. He was into hockey. He even had the hockey here. I was into basketball. He loved listening to Green Day and Avril Lavigne. But eventually Troy became cool once he started hanging out with all the Filipinos at school. I don't think he had a choice. St. Pat's was packed with Filipinos back then. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Troy probably 10 years ago in season one, season one of Michelle and Troy. Um, I also had the pleasure of meeting all of Troy's friends here. I've had so much good time with them. I've seen Troy and Michelle grow from season one to season two, and um, I'm just really proud to be a bridesmaid and to be sitting up here with you guys. And if you guys want to raise your glass and toast to Michelle and Troy. Troy, I'm so proud of the man you've become. I know you'll make a great husband and an even greater father, hopefully soon. I love you. I'm always going to be here for you. And to Michelle, thank you for choosing Troy to be your husband. And thank you for letting him choose me as his best man. I want to tell you that when I started this morning, I was very nervous about how I was going to handle this whole situation. I didn't know how I was going to act. I was very, very nervous. We got to the church, and again, I was still very nervous. A lot of new faces that I've never seen before. A few familiar ones. And then the uh, ceremony started and all the wonderful bridesmaids and men of honor came down and it was absolutely stunning. And then of course Michelle. There was, there was a lot of crying eyes for sure. And then as the ceremony went on, then it happened for me. Ralph! He dropped the rings! <laughs> From that moment on, I knew it didn't matter what I did this evening, because we're all going to remember Ralph. Here we are celebrating the marriage of my second baby girl. I fully expected her to be a boy. God would never expect me to raise a girl. I knew too well the thoughts that polluted the mind of a teenage boy, as I once was one. God would never make me endure that kind of stress. Well, the joke was on me. I held that little lady in my arms that day and told her to look up at me, thinking I still looked like a teenage boy, and told her to ensure she stays away from people who look like me until she was at least 30. She didn't take my advice. Throughout my married life, I have been surrounded by females. You know, I think God knew what he was doing. 
Four females in my life, including our dog, have given me much joy. I cannot believe this day is finally here. I have dreamt of it forever and still have to pinch myself to realize that it's real life. I want you to know how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I can say with an honest and open heart that you make me a better person. I love our banter and silliness, but also our deep connection on a serious level. You are such a good listener and I value your calmness. For a long time, I wondered if I would ever find a husband that could fill my dad's shoes. You know how much I love my dad? I wanted someone <clears throat> to call for advice, someone who would always do the right thing, someone who loves to have fun, someone who's patient, and someone who cares deeply for the ones he loves. You are all of those things. Today is the day we finally made it. All of your hard work has paid off. Over a year ago, I would have never thought this is where I would be, marrying the most amazing such gorgeous girl, you. This is a very exciting day for me. Though I may not show it all of the time, I am over the moon that you are going to be my wife. We have a unique and weird story, <laughs> but it's our story. And that story led us to be where we are today. You make me a better person. You make me happy and want to experience life to the fullest. I know that life won't always be easy, but I do know that we will weather the storm together. I will always care for you, and I promise to always work hard at our relationship. I will show up when you need me and be your shoulder to lean on in tough times. Together, we will experience new things and make memories and hopefully lots of babies. <laughs> they say good things come to those who wait and I couldn't agree more. You are so worth the wait. I love you, Troy, and I can't wait to be your wife. Can't wait to explore, experience, and tackle the rest of my life with you. Our lives won't always be easy, but we will get through anything and everything together. Take this day in and take all the mental pictures. This is your day and you deserve it. I cannot wait to see how gorgeous you are going to look in your wedding dress. I cannot wait to say I do in front of all of our families and friends. I love you very much and I'm thankful for you in my life. Let's get this day started and start our lives together. I love you, Michelle. I know I felt like this before in real mind.